GIS, or else known as Geographic Information System. GIS has been here for quite a while now and applied across different fields. It is a system that can capture, store, analyze, manipulate, manage, and visualize information. GIS capability and functionality include visualization, making query, with spatial analysis, digitization, integration of information, and also helps in decision making. Therefore, whose ability has pushed GIS to be a leading tool in oceanography. So now let's move on to a few examples of this application. The first country will be in Southeast Asia. It is Indonesia which has the coral triangle. Are you asking what's so special about the coral triangle? Well, you should know that most tuna species live here and contribute to the most of the world's tuna catch. In this study, the marine GIS is used to detect the habitat preference of skipjack tuna from various fishery data. Skipjack tuna is considered to be a pelagic species, which means they live in the upper pelagic environment. The satellite images can observe this horizontal habitat condition. Remote sensing can also derive the habitat indices for the skipjack tuna. For example, in this study, the remote sensing data can provide info on the chlorophyll content and also the sea surface temperature. The use of GIS enables us to visualize the hotspot for tuna correlated with chlorophyll content and also other variables. Knowing the habitat of the tuna itself is important for the fisheries industry and also the marine preservation. Now let's look at the states which is made up of a chain of volcanic island, Hawaii. The first full-fledged coral mapping was carried out in Bahamas and it resulted in a precise map of marine area that identified the different habitat type and locate individual species of coral. Therefore, the same can be done in Hawaii. Why is it important to preserve the protected marine area or this coral reef? Bleaching! This is what happened to the marine reef in Hawaii. Important feature of GIS can combine human use data layers with maps of biological priorities. They are able to integrate information for decision making processes. Participatory GIS incorporate people's special knowledge into digital maps for conservation planning. They are able to gather geospatial data on human uses of near shore ocean environment close to the marine protected area. To conclude, the ability of GIS to obtain spatial info on the reef species is essential in decision making for management and conservation. Last but not least, let's go to the land of pyramids. Egypt are not only famous for their long ancient histories of pharaoh and mummies. Who can dismiss the Nile River? It was the lifeblood of ancient Egypt and remains crucial for sustaining life in the barren desert of Egypt today. But how is GIS applied to the study of Nile River? But first, we need to know what is bathymetry, since bathymetry data is utilized in the study of this Nile River. Basically, it is equivalent to the land topography map. Bathymetry is the study of underwater depth of water bodies. How is the data obtained? The data is obtained by mounting the ship with multi-beam echo sounders and sensors. By measuring the time, the beam of sound is reflected. The depth of the ocean can be measured. The study aimed to develop GIS application for the first data to serve a few purposes. 
first to develop a digital map for morphological and hydraulic change at birthing area. The second would be to evaluate condition of Nile River for safe navigation. A birth area is basically an area where the ship is moored onto the bollards and where the cargo is loaded or discharged on and off the ships. Navigation in the Nile River is greatly affected by water depth, bad topography, and water level. The study linked the numerical model with GIS in order to develop a decision support system. The numerical model consists of physical, morphological, and hydraulic condition. GIS greatly benefit the studies as it is able to reduce the amount of data preparation work, enhance spatial data display, and also reveal some hidden spatial relation. The tool enables the authority to manage the release of water discharge into a river, especially in the winter period, for navigation uses for effective water management. These are just a few of GIS application in ocean, but the potential of GIS is limitless. We just need to explore and who knows what more will GIS hold for the future of our ocean.